Hello assistants, God bless you. Welcome to one more strengthening our salvation. I had an interesting conversation with someone recently and I was trying to explain to this person about the manifestation of the Holy Spirit that everything we do in the church is based on the direction of the Holy Spirit. Now, for us who do the work of God and who are born of God, and I imagine that you who are watching this video, if you are an assistant, you are born of God, then we understand this concept very, very clearly, the concept of being led by the Holy Spirit, the concept of the work of God being guided and inspired by the Holy Spirit. But how would you describe this to someone who doesn't have this understanding? Someone who is, who looks at the world in a physical way without the understanding of spiritual matters. We can say it's virtually impossible to do so because the direction of the Holy Spirit is not something physical, something tangible, something you can touch. So it becomes very difficult for a person who doesn't live by faith to understand this. And what happens sometimes is that we have people who begin in God's work living by faith, but eventually they start leaning more towards everything, including the work of God, as a profession, as a job, as a physical thing. The Apostle Paul spoke about this when he complained that Christians in a certain church were now perfecting themselves in the works of the flesh. He said, you started in the spirit and you are now perfecting yourself in the work of the flesh. We have to remember that the work of God is spiritual. And if it is spiritual and we believe that the work of God is spiritual and guided by the Holy Spirit, then when we do our work in the work of God, we have to ask for this direction of the Holy Spirit, for Him to guide us. For example, do you remember the first time that you went to assist in a Friday service? Just the thought of you being used to deliver people who were suffering with the authority that the Lord Jesus gave you, that brought fear to your heart. And I believe that in most cases, assistants or whoever we were at that time, we would go to a Friday service in the beginning in fasting, asking God to consecrate our lives so that through our hands, people would be delivered from their problems. This is when we believe that the work we do is indeed inspired by the Holy Spirit. Because when you have this understanding, you rely on the Holy Spirit. You ask Him to speak through your mouth. When you go to assist in a service, you ask God, my God, speak through my mouth. When I open my mouth to speak, let your words come out of my mouth. Inspire me, guide me. When there is a direction for the whole church to move in a certain direction, whether it's a purpose of evangelism or a purpose of sanctification. Like we announced that this Wednesday, we started the journey to Pentecost, the journey to the Sunday of Pentecost. This is a, a direction of the Holy Spirit. When we have the fast of Daniel, same thing. Is a direction the Holy Spirit brings to the church to sanctify the church. When we have a campaign of Israel or any purpose of faith, is a direction of the Holy Spirit. Now, like the Apostle Paul said, unfortunately, sometimes many start removing from the equation of serving God the spiritual element. If the work of God is spiritual and you take out the spiritual element, you take out 
the importance of depending on the Holy Spirit, of believing that the Holy Spirit guides his work, then what are you left with? You are left with a chore. You're left with a job. You're left with a burden. Because you took out the spiritual element of God's work. And so, in everything that we do, we have to understand, to believe, and to ask God to guide us. In this spiritual work, we have to believe the work is spiritual. And work in whatever responsibility we have with this understanding. This work is spiritual. And I'd be mad, I'd be crazy to want to do the work of God in a physical way. Because again, remember, God's word says that our fight is not against flesh or blood. But against the spiritual entities, the spiritual powers of darkness. If my fight is against the spiritual powers, then my work cannot be physical. Assistant, never take your eyes out of this fact. Never lose this understanding of this fact. And it is indeed a fact that the work of God, in whatever capacity you are involved in the work of God, is spiritual. And as long as we understand this and we seek direction from the Holy Spirit for this spiritual work, He will always use us. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.